speaking of winds, our very own Sam Sweeney is at the University of Maryland College Park, and he is going to actually experience hurricane force winds. Oh my goodness, tell us more about this. I think this is so cool, Sam. Eileen, this is probably one of the more exciting uh, stories that I've been able to cover. Right now, we are standing in a wind tunnel at the University of Maryland. It's a very unique tunnel. There's only a couple of them around the country, and in this little hallway that we're in right now, you can experience wind gusts for humans up to about 120 miles per hour. And that's why we're here today, because hurricane season is upon us, and we want to help you prepare for that season. And Washington, D.C., and this area surrounding us, we are very prone to hurricanes. And again, we want you to be prepared. So I'm going to bring in Dr. Knight, who's a faculty member here at the University of Maryland. Tell us what we should know to be prepared for a hurricane if it were to come up the East Coast. Okay, thanks, Sam. You know, it's important to remember that hurricanes aren't just about the wind, even though we're standing here in this nice breeze. It's really about storm surge and rain and flooding as well. And we are very vulnerable here in this area. And it's important for the individuals and the businesses and our uh, community leaders to be prepared. So I always tell individuals you should have a kit. You should know your evacuation route. Uh, you should practice your uh, your your exercise, your evacuation, and really you need to check your insurance plans. Are you covered for flood and wind? And uh, communities and businesses need to be prepared to, to uh, all year round, sunny day planning. Thank you so much. Dr. Sandra Knight with the University of Maryland. Now guys, this is the most exciting portion of this story. We're going to do a wind test. We're going to crank this up to about 120 miles an hour. I have to put these goggles on and I'm strapped in. So in this tube, they also test airplanes, the aerodynamics for airplanes, cars, and even the uniforms for ice skaters that are off to the Olympics. Anything that needs a wind or aerodynamic test comes to this facility. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna put these goggles on. We're going to go to 50 miles an hour with the microphone and the photographer in the wind tunnel and then he's going to get out and we're going to crank it up to about 120 miles an hour. Like I said, they test cars and airplanes. You guys are good to go. They test cars and airplanes, but today we're going to test my Aquanet hairspray. So here we go. Right now, what are we at, guys? We're about 30 miles an hour right now. We're going to go to 40. The photographer is getting pushed away. And he's going to get out now. And now we're going to go to about 120 miles an hour. Okay, so they <laughs> <laughs> he was able to show us that they have him at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> the thing Sam Sweeney will do for a good story. But you know what? In all seriousness, he told us you know it was 50 miles an hour, and that is not much when you're talking about hurricane strength. Wind. Right. Yeah. That's, that yeah. is nothing. Yeah. So, and and again, he's strapped down. Right. I, I mean, mean, he is bolted tethered. to the floor. Yeah. Yeah. And he's and he's still going, and still they're going. still cranking it. There you go. He beats he beats the mechanical bull. That's for sure. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that, that reminds me of you know when you see like in cartoons people on motorcycles exactly. wrecked up in their cheeks. Exactly. Um, wow. But again, that just shows you. I mean, the serious nature of hurricanes yeah, and, and the winds that are associated with them. So.